Hey Libra, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right, if you want a personal love reading, Libra, you know where to find me. All the details are in the description box. You can go to my Etsy shop and buy a personal reading there. I also have my tarot, oracle decks, and spiritual jewelry cheat sheets there as well. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on. What's crack a lacking in your love life? All right, what is the challenge for Libras out there? All right, the challenge for you, Libra, we have the Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Now, I feel like, Libra, there's a struggle for you to find your happiness right now, okay? And it could be the simple fact that you're feeling distant from someone. Maybe someone has put you out in the cold. There's the energy of feeling in this place of lack or you've lost something, okay? This could be, um, Five of Pentacles can also just be like an abandonment energy or you feeling sick or, you know, there's the energy of you feeling, I do feel, being in the cold by someone um where you're trying you're trying and striving to find the happiness right now but it's difficult okay so this could be someone that you're not talking to right now maybe there's some a uh, broken communication or this person you know you had a fight and you just like you're not talking right you're just completely ignoring each other there's the energy of feeling neglected by this person okay that's what it looks like to me and I feel like you're really just pushing to move forward move forward and find yourself be happy again some of you guys are waiting for communication. In a recent past, we had the Ten of Pentacles, the world in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it looks to me like Libra, there was a falling out, okay? There was a relationship that may have had potential. I mean, it seems like it had great potential because of Ten of Pentacles, right? It was like you guys were building something for the long term. It was supposed to be stable and secure, I feel like you really wanted to protect it. You really wanted to build, okay, for uh, something to be long-standing. Now, I feel like there was a missed opportunity here with the Ace of Cups, and I feel like you didn't see it coming. I'm getting like you you really saw something happening, and all of a sudden, something didn't work out. And so it may have been an ending here in a recent past, or some again, a missed opportunity, right? So we're going to see what that looks like. What's the current energy here? Libra's current energy. The Hierophant could be a Taurus that so you're dealing with. The Chariot. And a six of wands, okay? A lot of energy indicating of some kind of victory here. You're going to have Libra. You're having some kind of victory with regard to a situation. This six of wands could be like something you're achieving, okay? Maybe, you know, someone is finally acknowledging you. They're seeing you. They're paying you much mind. They're attentive to your needs, okay? There's something that's going to allow you to move forward in some direction, okay? This could be a new direction or you're, you're feeling like something's finally moving and changing in your life, okay? Now, it does look like it's regarding a commitment with the Hierophant here, okay? Maybe you are recommitting to something in your life. This could be a Cancer or a Taurus. In terms of the outcome, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords, okay? Um, Libra, there's something about you moving past an opportunity that didn't work out, okay? The Four of Cups is when you are feeling like something's been missed. You know, maybe you felt rejected by someone. There's the energy of letting that go, moving past it, because that's only going to create self-sabotage, especially if you're looking to come together with someone. Two of Cups is here. So the Two of Cups could be coming out in reverse because, you know, if you have that mindset of something that didn't happen there's like the energy of feeling down and depressed and sad and you know that is going to sabotage something from really moving forward so the seven of swords is really here because it's speaking about you know that thinking that negative thinking that certainly could kind of weigh things down in your life so you know positive thinking is really going to help the situation turn it around especially if you are you know feeling that five of pentacles feeling um left out feeling abandoned okay so give me the energy of libra six of swords and eight of pentacles in reverse now libra i feel like there's an the energy of you questioning if something is worth giving to right putting your time your energy your effort um there's something from the past or someone from the past you have not let go of i feel like there's still some conflict between the both of you 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 both have not made peace with something um and it's still on your mind it's in your energy right now so it's affecting you big time libra okay so there's something here that i think um you stopped 
investing in because it stopped working but it's almost like you haven't let this go so even though you are no longer putting in time energy into this situation with this person you haven't really freed yourself from this person you may be still thinking about some conflict now in the environment what you're not aware of is the eight of wands there could be communication coming in the five of wands the nine of wands in reverse with the sun in reverse so it could be a leo here now yeah there's some kind of i'm getting unexpected communication this could be someone who's kept you in the dark for some time maybe even someone who's given up on you and acted as if like they didn't care you know they didn't see a future with you there's the energy of some resistance okay five of wands some tension some drama between the both of you and i feel like this is someone who's gonna reach out and again this eight of wands could be texting it could be finally picking up the phone talking to you it could be literally sending you like a dm you know so there's some kind of reaching out this person is going to do and i just don't think you you see it coming i also feel this person may reach out but they may not be forthcoming with regard to something okay the sun inverse can be indicating of holding back you know not really being entirely upfront, keeping things from you or you know keeping something in the dark still so you know how people can talk but they don't really talk about what they need to talk about you know <laughs> it's like a bunch of fluff and you know that kind of thing it's like they're talking but you're like what are you really talking about all right, so let's see. Give me the five of pentacles. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't know about you guys, Libra. All right, five of pentacles. What is this about for Libras? What is this energy? What is this challenge here? Ace of wands in the verse and the eight of cups. I mean, seven of cups, I'm sorry. So yeah, there's a situation that's bringing a lot of confusion right now, Libra, to your life. And I feel like it's because, um, you know, you're confused about where you stand with someone, someone that you're at a distance from right now. And it looks to me that Libra, you know, you want something to get back up and running. And I feel like you don't know how because of the confusion. So Libra, this could be someone that you really see a future with, you see yourself being happy with, but right now, things are not really moving forward, right? Ace of Wands in verse, how do I get things up and running? Does this person even want me? Do they desire me? I'm so confused, you know? Did this person just want to have fun and the casual connection was at all I, I was to this person, you know? So some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone who gave you the impression that they only wanted to have fun, you know? They came in with this wand energy, passion, desire, but then they really wasn't moving things forward. So give me the energy of the recent past. Why is the world in reverse? The judgment in reverse with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like someone here um, that you were either involved with, okay, I'm getting romantically involved with, they were not ready to make that decision, okay? There's a big decision I'm thinking it's regarding a commitment with the Ten of Pentacles here. So you may have planned Libra for something to move forward, something committed, you know, like like anybody would. But I don't think this person was ready because the Ten of Swords indicating that something could have came to an end very abruptly with the world in reverse. You didn't see this coming at all. This is something that could have certainly blindsided you. Now, with the judgment in reverse, it's leading me to believe that it was a decision that your person wasn't ready to make. It was almost like they put off making this decision for a really long time. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Ace of Pentacles and the Devil in reverse. Now, I feel like in order for this person to give you this solid offer the ace of pentacles could be a relationship a commitment some kind of solidarity it's like this person had to free themselves from something that wasn't working okay the devil could be past it could be trauma it could be um insecurities commitment issues whatever there's something this person had to let them uh, let go of free themselves from cut ties in order to offer this ace of pentacles now this could be a capricorn you're dealing with give me the energy of this um seven Six of Wands. Let's look at the Six of Wands here. The current energy is a Six of Wands. You getting um, attention, achievements. There's something here about recognition. Three of Wands in reverse. And a two wands in reverse. It looks to me like you're getting some kind of achievement or recognition. You're getting, you're being seen, okay, in some way by this person or just in general, Libra. You could be in the spotlight is what it's telling me right now. And things could be finally moving forward because you've given up on something. The three of wands in verse is when you're no longer waiting for something to happen, okay? You're no longer just waiting, 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 you know, um, that kind of thing. You've given up. And the two wands in reverse is indicating that there was a decision that you made to just give it up. Because something here you could have been waiting for for a really long time and then it just wasn't worth it anymore. Now, when you do that, when you literally give up on a situation, it looks like something's coming in for you. Why is a chariot? Uh, we got the strength in a verse. It could be regarding a Leo and a temperance in verse. Yeah, there's something that you've been overly patient about. 
And it's almost like you're relinquishing your, your control from it. It's almost like you're saying, oh, I give up. The strength in the verse, you give up. Because it literally, you guys have been really fighting for something. And I feel like you've been fighting for something that the other person wasn't willing to fight for, okay? It's like you were fighting for it, but this person wasn't. So with the temperance in verse, I'm getting something about timing. This could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, Libra. There's something about timing. The time is now, okay? And, and now you're finally getting some kind of achievement, recognition, and it's some kind of commitment with the Hierophant, okay? Eight of Cups in reverse. So some of you guys, you have someone returning, okay? There's someone returning from the past. There's someone who left you, thought they weren't going to be happy, and they're returning. And that is the recognition. That is the uh, attention you're getting. That's going to make you feel good. So Libra, in a current energy, it looks like someone's reappearing in your life, and you're going to be like, oh, wow, you know, <laughs> I didn't think you'd come back because I literally gave up on you. So with the Six of Wands on Chariot, it's like finally things are happening. It's like something you've been really waiting for for a real long time. It's finally coming in. This person still has feelings for you, obviously. Now, give me the energy of Libra, why is the Eight of Pentacles in a verse? You stop caring. Okay, Five of Wands. You stop caring and investing in a situation, King of Swords in reverse. And you completely cut off this person. You may have went ice cold on the Libra. You may have stopped talking to them. You may have wrote them off. You may have felt like they were being dishonest with you. So you said, what the hell with you? There's the energy of the Five of Wands here where there's been a lot of resistance, conflict, drama and that's something that you're moving away from but i think that even though you tried to move away from it libra the six of swords and verses tell me you have it entirely it still affects you but it's like you're not really putting much energy into it right the eight of pentacles and verse why is the six of swords here yeah two of swords you had to make that decision for yourself that two of swords is literally choosing choosing to not let something affect you anymore not because it doesn't but you're, you're saying to yourself i'm not going to allow this person or the situation to continue to affect me i need to do what's best for me so i feel like the two of swords is really about you cutting ties with someone cutting off communication with someone um and finally moving away from it, you know, and not letting it bother you as much. Now, what it does look like to me is that there is some kind of communication coming in out of the blue. Why is this eight of wands here? And it could be the same person that you had some kind of conflict with, the five of wands. Maybe they put you in competition with someone here. Oh, page of cups. We know what that is, right? The page of cups came out with the chariot in reverse. So this could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio, strong cancer and energy. Um, you know, Libra, there's someone who obviously is reaching out to you to apologize. Page of Cups, I'm sorry. I want your forgiveness. <laughs> Will you look at me? You know, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry what I did. Page of Cups is someone who is expressing their heartfelt feelings for you. They want you to forgive them. Um, the chariot is in reverse. So I think a lot of you guys are realizing that something isn't working out for them. They're not feeling victorious, right? They're the ones who things are not moving the way they want it to. But things are moving for you, Libra, because we just saw that chariot in the six of wands. So things are really happening for you. Finally, you're moving forward. You're not feeling like you're being held back by the past. And then this person's now, well, damn, I'm being held back now. Now I feel like I'm not able to achieve what I want. So this person comes in to kind of mess things up, right? There's the energy of this person coming in because they see you moving on. And then now they want to apologize. But why is the nine of wands in verse? I feel like you gave up on this person. They gave up on you. Oh, the justice card. Okay. So now they want to do right. Page of Cups, I apologize. Now they want to come in and bring balance. They want to restore balance to the situation. That's your energy, Libra, right? They're thinking of you. You're all up in their energy. But they actually want to reciprocate. They want to turn the tables. They want to bring some kind of fairness, equality, justice to a situation regarding you and them. So if they did you wrong in the past, it's like, how can I do right? What can I do, Libra? Please tell me. Why is the sun in the verse? Is something that you're not aware of, Libra? Ooh, the fool. The Ace of Cups in verse. So this person, <laughs> Libra, what you're not aware of, this person wants a new beginning, okay? Aries energy, Leo energy, this person isn't telling you something. They're keeping you in the dark about this with that sun in verse, okay? But one thing we know about the sun is that, you know, it's the happiest, most beautiful card in the deck. In the reverse, it means that something is delayed. So this person isn't coming to you just yet to tell you this, but what they are going to reveal to you with the sun in reverse is that they want a new beginning. There's been a missed opportunity with love, Ace of Cups, a missed opportunity. They felt like you and them had the ability to have this most beautiful, fulfilling, loving relationship, and it's kind of like what happened. So this fool is really speaking about this person 
in a matter of time coming and revealing to you that they want this new beginning they want to see if they can have this ace of cups again you know is this completely off the the table right the chopping block that's the energy here so the four cups there is the energy of feeling sad because this person may have acted as if you weren't good enough or they may have rejected you in the past why is it four cups yeah six of pentacles and the seven of pentacles now things are changing because again that justice card so what it looks like to me libra coming into near future we have the energy of this person again reciprocating adjusting making some kind of compromise or compromising now meeting you halfway and saying six of pentacles i'm willing to give my share i'm willing to invest more seven of pentacles because you're worth it because I see a future with you because I know that if I invest in this, it's actually going to be pretty damn, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a nice little shiny penny. It's going to present me with something very, pretty solid, right? So this person looks at you as someone they see growth with and they don't want to miss an opportunity, okay? But the Seven of Swords, some of you guys should be feel this person is sneaky, all right? <laughs> King of Wands energy and the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So... I don't know who's who, but, you know, take it how it resonates. There is a queen of uh, pentacles here. So you guys could definitely be seen as very grounded, very stable, okay, very secure. You know what you want. And then there's the energy of this king of wands. So maybe you're dealing with the king of wands, right? This is the energy of someone who's very action-oriented coming in or coming in strong. Okay, they know what they want. Someone doesn't want to miss out. You know, the five of cups, remorse, uh, guilt, um, disappointment. I'm sorry what I did. I can't believe I hurt you. Th that is something you're going to be dealing with, okay? But the Seven of Swords is indicating that some of you, you may feel like, I don't know about you, you know? I'm, I'm based off of what I know. So the challenge for you guys is to find your happiness, right? Will it, will it make you happy getting out of the cold with this person, with the Five of Pentacles? Or should you leave this person out in the cold and find your happiness all by yourself, right? That could be something that is challenging you that you're going to be faced with, okay? So Libra, that is what I have. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right. Have a great weekend. Take care.